Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith, former England international, of course, is in the commentary box with me as usual. Well, we're out and about very early into the new year and looking forward to bringing an exciting match for you and wishing you Happy New Year and I hope all your resolutions stay in place for many months ahead. It is Forest Green Rovers against Aston Villa. Yeah, Happy New Year, Martin. And uh, for these two teams, it's about starting the new year as they mean to go on. This is the Forest Green Rovers side today. The goal today, Darren Randolph. Mario Goethe starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. And he's pumped for an attacking lineup with two out and out attackers. The Aston Villa team for this game. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward, and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Wants to get at him, and he's got past him. He's got good support in the middle if he gets his cross in. Corner for Aston Villa. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. Well, you look at his league goal tally, and it's uh, there for all to see. Such a danger man, as he's sure to be today. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. And the defender able to clear it away. Corner played into the middle. Well, sometimes you just have to clear it like that. Safety first. And uh, Herrera. Genghis Under. Pour on the ball. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? It looked a certain goal until the chance now to go ahead. The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. And here is another angle on that goal. And that has opened the Open scoring. 1-0 here. Number 23. Yota. Adams. Mario Goetze. Impressive in possession. Passing's good. Possibly dangerous. Frederic Gilbert. McGinn. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Players arriving in the middle, saved by the keeper, but not decisively. Oh, listen to the crowd, I think they sense that. Bit of a desperate lunge, that, and he's going to get booked for it, I think. That's the yellow card, and it's the Aston Villa player who gets it. Yeah, it was a silly tackle in many ways, it was a harmless area. Ronaldo. Taking on the defenders. Conceding the corner, now they've got to deal with it, the defenders. Put the corner in the middle. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. To get the equaliser! Well, he's reached that spectacularly. I thought that was in, Martin, I've got to say. Only partially away from danger. Alan McAnally's at the Etihad Stadium, and he's got news of a goal for us. It's a goal for Manchester City. 
23 minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. And the ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. The referee's going to take action here. Easy decision for this referee, and there's going to be no leniency here. It's got to be a card, a yellow one. Yeah, he reached for that back pocket straight away, and out it came. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Play goes on, and Aston Villa got the benefit of the advantage to rule then from the referee. The break is definitely on. What an important goal this may well be. The two ahead now, building a platform for victory. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. Well, here's the goal again. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, Herrera. They're looking good when they attack. That's good passing, probing. Could get a goal back here. Now oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. A strong player, and he shielded it well. Advantage here for Aston Villa. Again. Villa controlling possession as you can see we've seen some lovely nasty looking challenge well this hasn't helped their chances at all he is sent off already trailing uh, you can see what his teammates think about this yeah and you can't see this match being turned on his head we've seen it before stranger things have happened but well oh. Well, that lad's going to get some stick in the dressing room. Oh, that's whistled just off target from the free kick. Yeah, unlucky. Struck it well, and I don't think the keeper would have got across. Cengiz Under. James. Mario Goetze. Lingard. Time to get the ball in. Aldo. Alan McAnally is at Anfield, and he's got a goal to tell us about. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 41 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Trezeguet. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Only partially cleared, so there's still... Surely! Well, how has he done that? That is one of the most difficult skills in the game. And he made it look easy, Martin. Wonderful sight him and his fans well just look at it again he reached away from the goal and somehow hooked the ball over his shoulder and into the top corner well how on earth did he do that amazing quite spectacular an amazing first half in this game have a look at that scoreline The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from three this minutes. Uh, period of play to add on three minutes. It's Matt Target. Trezeguet. The build-up is patient. Now he can cross it. Challenge in sharp. It's Villa's corner. Well, he's going to show the yellow card. That's good refereeing to go back to the original offence, having played the advantage. Yeah, you always felt that he would. It wasn't the best of challenges, that. Very sharp reaction save from close in. Corner swung in. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time.
Well, you can score a goal at any point in a game. He hasn't really looked like scoring any so far, has he? He'll be hoping for better as the match develops. Yeah, and I think the uh, opposition goalkeeper can thank his defenders for restricting this player to that amount of shots you can see on your screen. Well, he's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? It I guess the coach might have said, well, if they can do that in one half, you can do it in the other half. But it's going to take a lot of character for the losing side to fight back. Here's Wesley. Trezeguet. Gets his cross in. Offside given, Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. Cengiz Under, Laiva Kusawa, guiding it through the defenders, can finish it off. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought. But they're safe again. And well, there's been a goal in the Liverpool game, Alan McInally. It's a third goal in the clear for a great chance. It's going to make a change, and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. Yes, it was a goal for Liverpool, just to confirm that for you. The news from Alan McAnally. The score is now 3-0. And Ronaldo. They've got the ball back by that interception. What we've got on EA Sports very soon for you, the presentation of the FA Cup fixture, Aston Villa. They'll be hosting Manchester City. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Wonderful chance! Oh, look, they've got one back. Well, that's real bold play by the side that had the player dismissed. Yeah, they were brave in possession, weren't they? They took a chance and they've got their goal. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Well, when the transfer window is open, you know Manchester City will be looking. And this time they've done more than look, they bought. Yeah, I'm reading around £55 million, pounds, which I think will be good value. Let's see how he settles in that squad. Cengiz Under, James and Ronaldo. Now James. Set up to play on the break now. The build-up is patient. Cristiano Ronaldo. James. And the referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Well, this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. Cengiz Under. Live at Kusawa. He's done really well, the defender there. And that's the way to defend, make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Wonderful to watch. He took those two goals superbly well. It's Matt Target. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Prepared to just pass the ball around in their own half, winning the game as the scoreline tells you. There's been a goal in front of Alan McAnally at the Etihad Stadium, Alan. It's the second goal for Manchester City. Incisive pass. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. Manchester City got that goal. Alan McAnally was just trying to tell us there was not much time for Alan on that occasion. The score is now 2-0. 
and he gets it back. They look at the ref, and he says penalty. Didn't hesitate, did he? Pointed to the spot. Was it a penalty for you, Alan? There's been no booking. It's not a, a savage offence. No, it was one of those 50-50 decisions. The ref only gets one look, doesn't he? And uh, he had to make the call. And the keeper's got to it, went the right way. Now here's a chance from winning the ball. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Hot news from Anfield, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Liverpool. 79 minutes played, 4-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. Lovely ball from Ronaldo. Good, sir. Good challenge. Read the play well. Ronaldo! Oh, he's kept it out. That's out of danger there with that clearance. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. 3-1 here, and that could be that, really, given the uh, lack of time left. What do you think for the next game? Yeah, Aston Villa go up against... He's going to try it! Well, it was a bit desperate, but what a good challenge. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And then he went, just diverted it away. McGinn, Engels... Trying to manage the situation here by just keeping the ball and keeping the lead. Now they can switch the play here. And there's the cutback. And it's back for another corner. Corner swung in. And he's caught that right, but just off target. Wow, not too much wrong with the technique there. Mario Goetze. Cristiano Ronaldo, now James, made a quick interception, and that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Good part of the season has gone now, and they've lost, and they can't go on losing matches like this. No, it can become a habit, a nasty one at this stage in the season, just got to correct one or two flaws that we saw out there.